Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Moon. Today we have an interesting exponential equation. We have 5 to the power x minus 4 to the power x equal to 9. How can I solve this equation? I'm going to show you my approach, how I how I solve this, how I show that we will have a root right here. So take a look what we will have. Let's divide both sides by this 4 to the power x. For example, we can divide as 5, by 5 to the power x, but I want to divide by this 4 to the power x. So let's divide both sides by 4 to the power x. What we will have as a result? We divide bo both of these elements by this 4 to the power x. We will have 5 to the power x dividing by 4 to the power x minus 4 to the power x dividing by this 4 to the power x and equal to 9 dividing by this 4 to the power x. Take a look right here. We have same elements, same denominator and same denominator, so we can easily cancel this and as a result right here we have only our 1. So right here we have 1. This one on the right will be the same because we cannot simplify this 9 over 4 to the power x. And right here we have same exponent but different bases. So as a result if you have a over b raised to the power x you can write it as a over b in parentheses raised to the power x. So we can write this element in parentheses. We can write it as phi over 4 raised to the power x and minus 1. So this is our equation after this simplifying step. What we're going to do next? Take a look. I want to show you about the exponential, fu exponential function, about the function y equal to b to the power x. So we will have two cases. The first one is when our b is between 0 and 1. b between 0 and 1. What equation we will have? What graph we will have? We will have that our graph will be looks like that and this one is decreasing function. So our function will be decreasing function. And take a look at the second case. If we have b but greater than 1, what we will have? We will have the same situation but our graph will be increasing one. So right here we'll have an increasing function. So decreasing function and increasing function. Take a look what we'll have in our equation. We will have that right here we have our base is greater than one. So as a result we'll have that our this function will be increasing function. Right here we will have a constant which is with nothing changed. So if we write minus one right here we'll have the same function. So right here we will have an increasing function. And as a result what we will have on the right we will have that we will have 4 to the power x in our denominator which is b is greater than 1 that our function will be increasing function. But if we divide in constant by this increasing function we will have a decreasing function. So as a result we will have, I write this, on the left we will have increasing function equal to decreasing function. So if you draw a graph, what we will have? We will have exponential increasing function and exponential decreasing function. We will have situation like that. We will have decreasing function and we will have an increasing function. So one and one way that this equation works, that, this, uh, that these lines intersect, is that when intersect at all. So we will have only one point of intersection only one point because there is no way that will be two, two points, three points, one and only case that our lines intersect. So we will have right here only our x, only one point of intersection. And it's not hard to see that by inspection this x will be two because we will have five square minus five square minus four square equal to nine, which is correct. We will have 25 minus 16 which is equal to 9 and this is good for us. So this root we can see by inspection. Of course this is not like a general method about this, this equation because if we have for example 10 right here we can cannot easily find this root by but if you show that we will have only one root by this method you can show it, you can find it by inspection but this is not like a general method. So if you still have any question, write a question in the comment, write a suggestion in the comment. Thank you for watching, subscribing, putting thumbs up, and see you in the next videos.